There are pros and cons for working everywhere, but here we're talking about the federal government and we've significantly seen the impact in our labor market as has been evidenced by the great resignation. So the federal government clearly needs to increase its competitiveness by engaging and retaining the best skills in the public sector. But first, you have to know why it's attractive in order for you to want to come work for Uncle Sam. I'm Lisa and I am not a millennial. But if you're a millennial or a Generation X or a baby boomer, let's consider the pros and cons of working for the federal government. Maybe by hearing from someone with firsthand experience, that would be me. I can tell you what's in it for you and I can pique your interest and maybe you'll consider joining me. Not because I'm a representative of the federal government, because I'm representing you. And why do I care? Because I want to see more people who look like me, sound like me, and think like me. More women, more veterans, more disabled persons, more minorities, and more smart people. Today, I'll start with the pros. And if you subscribe and turn on that notification bell, you'll be sure to catch my equally thorough list of cons. Now, guess what? Guess what do you think is on the top of my list? I, I can't hear you. The top of my list is the chance to make a difference in the government because government employees, sure enough, work to enhance the lives of people in the United States and around the world. I see it for myself. You're going to get to play a vital role in ending homelessness, finding cures for diseases, keeping our food supply safe, our soldiers and sailors safe. Working for the government is interesting and challenging and more groundbreaking than many people realize. You can do what you're doing now. Anything similar, you can do it right for the federal government, only on a far larger scale. Next on my list, which you might have thought was number one, but it wasn't, are great benefits and competitive pay. Wherever you want to call home, there are federal jobs likely available. But you likely thought, as many do, that the greater majority of federal jobs are at the Pentagon or in Washington, D.C. or the Virginia area. Not so. Nearly 85%, 85% of federal government jobs are outside of the Washington, D.C. area. And more than 50,000 federal government employees work overseas. The average government salaries are competitive with the private and non-private sectors. And I'm going to let you in on a little, little dirty secret. We're likely to make more. We don't want you to believe that. And that's definitely not what's reported in the news. We often say federal employees are getting a new pay raise to be able to compete. In that context, it's most likely reflective of those persons who work in the DC area. But with the greater majority of work outside of the Washington DC area, we're paid handsomely. And I'm going to use my own self as an example for where I work and just across the river, 15 miles away, the city within which I live has a population of 49,200 people with an average salary income of 25,000, that's 2019's rate. The city, the post that I work on, has a population of 9,600. It's just 15 miles away from my home. That's right, 9,600 residents. Yet there are 4,000 employees who work on the base that I do. Oh, and since I said I work there, I can assure you that not all residents in that city work on the base where it's located. I have co-workers who travel an hour or two hours just to get to and from work. And why? The pay and the benefits. The median income in the town where the military post I work in is $55,000 a year. And many of the people who work on the post also live in the same city. 
and they do so for a reason. As I said, pay and a shared understanding that working for the federal government is in fact better, which I talk about more in depth in this video about nepotism and you got to check it out. But now you know me, so you're good. Dude. I know here on YouTube, it's easy to get caught up in influencers reporting six figure incomes and more and the continual how to make money online in your sleep down the road on the beach. It's all over. But my advice to you is be grounded when considering how much you want to earn per year. Do just as I did say, Hey Google, what is the median income in the particular town you're living in or the one you want to live in? You can even do deeper dives by doing cost of living comparisons. There's a site for that. My next pick is the variety of fields that can be worked in within the federal government. There are jobs for every kind of interest. I've supported people working as bartenders, working as social workers, working in logistics, working in aviation here at easy federal resumes and more. We've talked about jobs in social media, cybersecurity, maintenance, and even mis <laughs> miscellaneous. That's what work Wednesdays provides. I highlight the different professions that you may be in as well as the jobs that match your skill sets. I'm giving you the opportunity to get your foot in the door, whatever your strengths and passions are. There's a federal job for you, whether your skills are in accounting or engineer, or if you have interest in history or zoology or something in another field, you can likely find it working for a federal agency and in a mission that excites you. Now, my next up is work life benefits. Now I know that I have not beaten this to the ground, but I have made videos on this benefit as well as some highlights that I sprinkled in through other videos. I even realized when creating this content, there's yet another, but I'll start with MWR morale, welfare, and recreation. Those resources like the fitness center, the discount tickets. If you're looking to have a life outside of work, the federal government is hands down attractive as an employer. The flexible work schedule, which includes telework is a major plus for busy people with schedules with their families or with refuting long commutes. As I said, people are coming from two and three hours, but they're only doing it two or three days a week. The vacation time that you have and 11 federal holidays. Come on. Now there are my pros service to my country, great pay, variety of work, work life balance and the benefits. Now, as I've called you before, you are smart people. Do your own pros and cons list and let me know in the comments what would be on the top of your list and let me know how far you are in the application process. Come back and learn about the dark side, but it's my hope by then it'll be too late. Bye for now.